G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. The video today is about how I store my gear and why I do what I do and also why it's important to practice putting your tent up. Now this is the Lanshan 2 and I've only put it up once or twice a little bit fiddly, I've got other tents that are so much easier, throw the poles, clip, throw the fly over, done. Now with this with it being pole, uh, your trekking pole tent, you have to peg points out, try and get the pole in to balance it so it doesn't fall back over or getting the pole at the right height to hold it. So I am going to have to practice a bit more with putting this tent up and taking it down also. Practicing putting it up is quite important because if you get to camp and the weather's not looking the best You want to get this done as quick as possible so you can get in and out of the rain or the snow or hail whatever you've got Best part about the lanterns bags or stuff sacks is they're larger than they need to be So most tents you roll them up put a strap around it force it into the soft sack and it stays compressed all the time. Now I don't like that idea because if something's folded you're going to have an edge on it and the more you fold it on the edge that point is going to get weaker over time than the unfolded. So that's one of the reasons why I don't always fold my tents the same way and nine times out of ten or 99 percent of the time probably closer to it i just stuff them in the stuff sack and leave it at that now getting back to the stuff sack for this the lanshan 2 stuff sack i can compress this down to less than half its size let's give you a quick idea three quarters So about halfway and still going down and down and down. So when it's packed in the compressed state, that's going to be having pressure on it at all point all the time. And if you've got any creases in there, the same again, they are going to get weaker because it's just compressed. The best way I find and all the way I do it is I keep the pack as you can see straps are loose, it's folded over once, there's still movement in the actual stuff sack and the tent's not compressed. It's just quite loose in there. So there's no real tension on any part of my tent. There's no, nothing being forced. And the tents that come with the straps to hold, when you have to roll it up, you put the strap on it, tension the strap and force it into your stuff sack. Again, that strap is going to have straight edges on there, going to be hard edges, and that's going to put pressure on your tent. It's going to put wear on your tent. And I don't know if you noticed, I've, I've seen a few tents in the past where people have used it all night, go to wrap it away and it's still got that uh, strap mark on it. So looking at that, my opinion is that's damaged already because it's not going flat again it's just going to be creased so the actual fibers of the material have been folded over and weakened and they're not able to come back out now if i'm wrong and anybody's got the physics and science of it all leave me comments below and explain to me so yep there's the reason why that is just left to expand. There's another one. I've got another tent. Close. Now this is the yep, the cloud at one. Can't really let that expand much more than it is. But I don't have a strap 
on my tent in there and as you can see it's fairly loose that's just lightly wrapped around the poles at the moment what I will do eventually is I'll replace that stuff sack with something slightly bigger so even if I just wrap it over and roll it up quickly it's going to be able to expand in the pack or in the stuff sack I don't always roll it in the same point uh, I've actually stuffed these in I think before yeah, it's rolled at the moment that's it I had it out the other day given it a wipe down and I just quickly rolled it up when I was on the counter so it's not rolled up tight or anything like that it's kept as loose as possible so as you can see no real hard bits I can feel the poles going through the middle and I think I can feel the pegs down here which I don't normally do I don't normally have the pegs on the inside now as you can see here carabiner on the strap ground sheet less in the bag pegs and extra guy ropes on the outside none of it's going to get lost it's all attached to here so it's leaving me more room inside the uh, stuff sack to be able to have it as loose as possible so that's how I store them and why I store them the way I do so now I'm going to head out and practice putting this up once or twice and see what's going to be the easiest way for me to do it so I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's giving you an idea of how to pack and store your gear away and why I think this is probably the better way of doing it might not be the best way but better than keeping it all tightly wrapped up and if you have and you're not already a subscriber please go down below click on the subscribe button then click on the notification bell next to it and select all and that way you can be notified of all future videos and hit that thumbs up button the like button and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much